Hello everyone, my name is Marcelo and we will learn on this tutorial how to publish an ad process on YPath Orchestrator and then we will learn how to set up YPath Orchestrator to launch processes with an attendant robot. So let's start by creating a new process on YPath Studio. So let's click here on process and let's define the process name can be, for example, Orchestrator Process and let's create. And now let's open the main workflow and to keep it simple, let's just create automation that will display a message box. So uh, to do it, let's open here the activities panel and search for the activity message box. And now let's drag the activity to our automation, to our project. And now here on text to display, let's define inside the double quotes, the text, for example, process launcher from YPath Orchestrator. And now we have our automation ready to publish to YPath Orchestrator. So the first thing to take note and define is the folder where we want to publish our automation. So as we have seen on the last lecture, by default on Orchestrator we have two folders, the My Workspace folder and the Shared folder. So let's publish our automation to the Shared folder. To do it, first we have to select the folder here on my Path Studio. So to do it here below, we can see on the bottom that appears here option where shows our email address that we have used to create our YPath account. And if you click here, we can see so that it's related to our Orchestrator folders. So this one, it's so the My Workspace folder and this one, the Shared folder. So here we can see that by default, it selected the My Workspace folder. To change it, we just have to click here on the shared folder. Now to publish our project to the shared folder, first here, let's click on the publish option, as we can see here. So what we can see here? Here on package name, we can see the name of the package that will exist, so on YPath Orchestrator. And also we can see the package version. So let's click here on next. Then here on publish options, very important, make sure that the option selected here is Orchestrator tenant process feed. So we can see that we have some options, so just make sure that this one is the one selected. And now we can so publish our project to Orchestrator. So let's click here where it says publish. So on the publish button. And as we can see, our project was published successfully. Now to check here on YPath Orchestrator, let's open it. And we can see that on the shared folder appears so zero processes. So it's normal. So let's click here on tenant. And here on packages, we can see so the package, the project that we have published. So let's learn now how we can add the project that we have published to iPath Orchestrator as a process. So first let's select our shared folder and then let's click here on automations. And now here on processes, we can add a new process. So here let's click on the button add process and first we have to select the package source so if we click here on the drop down we can see that appears the package that we have published from YPath Studio the orchestrator process so let's select it and now let's click on next on next again now here it's just optional settings we can change here the display name and we can have here also description so let's just create by clicking here on the create button 
And now we have our process created. So if we try now to execute it from orchestrator, so to try it, let's click here on this button. And as we can see, we cannot start the process execution and why? Because we don't have any license on the folder and now so we don't have any machine and unattended robot on it. So first let's select the shard folder and then let's click here where it says machines. And as we can see, we don't have any machine assigned to the folder. So to assign our machine, let's click here where it says manage machines in folder. And as we can see by default, we have one machine created on YPath Orchestrator. So let's assign this one to our folder. So to assign it, first let's check here. And now let's click here where it says update. And as we can see, we have now a machine assigned to the folder but we don't have any unattended runtime assigned to the machine. So that means basically that we can't run automation from Orchestrator on this machine because we don't have any runtime license assigned to it. So we need at least one. So to assign an unattended runtime license, let's click here on these three dots and let's click on edit machine. And now here, very important, let's assign one production and attendant runtime license. So uh, let's input here one. And now let's update. And now as we can see, it's compliant. So now we can run an attendant robot on our machine because we have now an attendant runtime license on it. So if we try now to execute automation, so let's click here on Sharon and now let's click on automations and let's try to execute our process. So let's click here and now uh, we can see that we have sold the license, but if we try to start uh, our automation, so let's click here. We can see that we got the error because we don't have a user with an attendant robot permissions in the current folder. So let's solve this. So let's click here on tenant. And now let's select the option manage access here. And here we can see our user with our name. So let's edit it. Let's click here on the three dots and let's click on edit. And now here on robot setup, so let's click on this option. Let's enable the unattended robot. So just to explain quickly, we have two types of robots, the attendant robot and the unattended robot. The attendant robot is a robot designed to run automations that requires human intervention, human supervision, and best suited to run smaller tasks, small automations, and the Nintendo robot is a robot designed to run more complex automations that doesn't require human intervention and supervision and presence. They can log in on the system on Windows without uh, help, let's say. They can log in on the system with the computer blocked, uh, Windows session blocked, so uh, it's more powerful. And so we will use an attendant robot to launch the process from Orchestrator. Uh, just for information, attendant robots can't be launched from Orchestrator. So uh, we will use an, an attendant robot because it can be launched uh, process from Orchestrator with an attendant robot. So now that we have enabled, we need to do one more thing. So let's click here on machine login credentials. And now here on domain username, let's input the domain username of our machine. So, uh, to, do, so to know it, let's open CMD. And now here, let's run the command who am I. And now let's click on the enter to execute. And we can see here our domain username so let's just copy it 
and now let's paste it here. And then here we can input our Windows password, but is it needed in our case because we will launch the process from Orchestrator with our user session open. So the password will be required if we want to launch the process with our user session on the computer locked. So if it's locked, the robot will need the credentials to log in on our computer. So let's just here update what it did. So let's click here on update. And now uh, let's try again. So let's click on share. And now on automations, let's click here to start the job, a process execution. And if we try now, and so we can see that we don't have our user with unattended robot permissions in the folder. So let's add it to our folder, the shared folder. So here on account, uh, let's click here to assign account, a user. And now here, let's search for our user. So let's input our name. And now let's select it. And now here the role, so let's select the role of the user on the folder. Let's here uh, check administrator and now also robot. And now let's assign. And now if you try again, so let's click on start. We can see that now no issue. So will be started uh, execution of the process on our machine. But as we can see, nothing starts. So if we try again, we can see that uh, nothing appears, doesn't appear the message box. So if we click here on jobs, we can see that uh, we have the jobs pending. So how to solve this problem that may happen to you or not, but maybe will. So to solve it, let's here open our search here on Windows. And let's search for White Path Assistant. It's so a tool that comes installed with White Path Studio when we install it. And we can see it here now. So let's just here input a name to our robot. My robot, for example. And we can choose here Avatar. And as we can see, when we started the white path assistant, the process started. As we can see here, it's running, appears in the message box. Because when we open the white path assistant, the connection between our machine and white path orchestrator was done. And now uh, our machine is connected to orchestrator. So if you click here on OK, the other jobs will start running. So we can see, so this one successful. And now it's running another. And so uh, now uh, we'll run all that are pending. So if you like this video, smash the like button. And also don't forget to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any more white path tutorials. Now I leave here on the screen a playlist with white path tutorials. So if you want to learn more about white path, I suggest to click so on the playlist and see the tutorials.